<laughs> good morning, good day. And so, uh, okay, three seconds, the average uh, <laughs> viewing for these videos uh, for the passers-by, isn't that amazing? Three seconds and the impression is made whether they're gonna stick around or not. So I find it so fascinating um, doing my own humanology uh, assessments here on human behavior. Anyway, so welcome to our challenge, which is at this point is a journey. If you've lasted this far, today's day 21, congratulations. Um, there are many different points of views as to what helps build a habit, new habit. Um, and so back in 2014, I was blessed to go to a retreat in California created and led by Deepak Chopra and his philosophy paired up with Oprah Winfrey's mm, uh, challenges and meditations that they offer is 21 days. So Deepak Chopra uh, trainings and some of the meditations that were done uh, in collaboration with Oprah are always about 21 days. And uh, the philosophy was that it takes 21 days to create a new habit. When I went to teacher training in 2016, 2017, <clears throat> I have learned in our textbook that it takes 40 days to, to create a new habit. And if you look at stories, <clears throat> um, ancient stories, 40, 40 days, 40 years, 40 is a significant number. So the one that I resonate with is the <clears throat> exodus of Jews from Egypt. It's 40 years. So it takes, uh, Hopefully not 40 years to build a habit, but 40 days. But 40 is a significant number. And so I wanted to talk to you today about changes. So there is nothing in the world that is constant but change. You are always changing. Your cells are changing. The weather is changing. The moon is changing. The earth is moving, the planets are moving. Like seriously, nothing is static or rigid. So why should we be? Why should we be rigid with our beliefs, outdated behavioral patterns, um, self-sabotaging, demoting um, behaviors that we often engage in? So today, um, for our 20, first day, we're going to experience a change. Yes. So, <clears throat> and I just want you to notice how your body responds to it. You know, when you're like, oh my gosh, what, you know, is there uneasiness? Is there, you know, uh, a tidal wave of anxiety? Um, is there an excitement, an anticipation, um, an element of curiosity, like just check in with your body. What What is your body, how does your body respond to the word change and to that knowingness that we are going to change today's um, practice. <clears throat> so I'll let you to sit with that for a moment. <clears throat> Okay, so the change is that we're going to do our second meditation first. And the first meditation will be second. Um, and then we'll see how we feel. It's the same practice, we're just changing the order. So our first meditation is 11 minutes. This is the meditation for self-blessing, holding the arms like this. Segmented breath, inhaling through the nose, eight counts, exhaling through the nose, eight counts, and then suspending the breath for 16 counts. Meanwhile, mentally reciting the mantra, sata nama, sata nama, and so like that. So let us tune in. So how, does, how do you feel now that you know what the change is? Just check in. 
check in. One hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Am I safe? Am I okay to do this? I've got this. Okay. So I just wanted to, uh, It just came to me to, to do it for today, and we'll see if we like it that way. So let's bring the hands into front of the heart center. Prayer mudra. And just notice your breath. And begin to deeply inhale. A sigh or an exhale. Inhale again, lifting the gaze up to the pituitary point, and as you exhale, releasing the shoulder blades down the back, tuck in the sit bones like the pelvic, tilting the pelvic, so tuck in the tailbone. Let's inhale one more time. And let's inhale for Adi Mantra. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Okay, so we're going to take a few deep breaths before we set into the posture. <sighs> kind of like inhale, exhale to really fill your body with prana. <clears throat> and then when you're ready, let's take a deep inhale, come into the posture. Exhale, set the shoulder blades down, eyelids are lowered down, and begin.
Stretch the arms overhead, take a deep inhale. Lean back, gently tilt your head back, pull the root lock. Exhale, two more times, stretching the palms up. Holding the space for a moment, letting your breath flow organically. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Okay, so that was one. And now for our second meditation, we're going to hold our mudra like this, with the thumbs crossed at the tip of the nose, right below, so that when you're gazing at the nails, it's almost like you're gazing at the tip of the nose. <clears throat> Remember, this is a segmented breath through the O-shaped mouth. And then exhale through the nose with one powerful stroke again to help you keep the count. But at this point, if you've been doing this practice, you should really kind of have the flow to it. Did I say should? you might have already a flow to it so you won't have to count but the mantra the purpose of the mantra is that it keeps your mind focused so rather than thinking about your shopping list or your to-do list or whatever scenario might have been playing in the mind the mantra keeps it focused the the mantra is mind current the wave of the mind and so you could have the thoughts as your waves of the mind or you could have a mantra and the key in meditation is to being able to focus your mind on that so that you could hear deeply, listen to your own voice, your projection of the mind on the mantra. Okay. Oh, my hands are cold. All right, so we're gonna come into the mudra. With a deep inhale and exhale as we're sitting up in a good yogic posture and then we begin.
deep inhale as you stretch the arms out to the side, palms facing up. Exhale fully, extend through the spine, extend through the fingertips, inhale, last time, spreading the fingers wide, Tensing out the whole body, stretching fully, and lift the root lock. space, letting your system recalibrate your mind, body, soul, connection. Take a deep inhale, exhale, when you're ready, gently open your eyes, floating your hands into prayer mudra, thumbs pressing into the sternum, the breath of gratitude for showing up, for being flexible and adaptable to the change that we experience today, deep inhale. To seal the practice with one long sat nam. Inhale. So. Sat nam. I hope you enjoyed today's practice. Uh, remember that if you're interested in private classes this is also available in person or online i always forget to mention that but some of you might uh, want to experience deeper practices as well and i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you tomorrow